hello and welcome to a playthrough of Wingspan. So, we're going to be playing Wingspan today. It is a game for one to five players. I'm going to do a little how to play first. Um, I'm going to be playing against the Automa. So, with playing against the Automa, you're basically playing um, against yourself. So, it's just a w way to play for one player. And we have certain cards that we use um, only when you're playing against the Automa. So, and this one is for a greater challenge. I'm not going to use that one. This is my first time playing against the Automa, so we'll see how it goes. So basically, um, you're going to be using cubes on your turn to do different actions. There's four different actions. This top action is a, a very small area. It's play a bird. The second area is to gain food. And then third one is to lay eggs. And then you could use this fourth one to draw bird cards. So essentially you're going to be placing birds throughout the board um, on your turn. And then the more birds you get, the more you get to get out of all these other actions. So we'll just put a couple birds out just for an example of what it might look like. So if you have, say, some birds like this. So you always go to the right of your last bird played in that area. So if I wanted to do a gain food action, I would place the cube here. I would get to gain two pieces of food. And then I could trade a card for a third piece of food as well. And then you'd go down the line. And if everyone that has a brown um, ability there, you get to do that ability. And then you go all the way down, and then that would be your turn. So every turn you get to play one cube. First round, you're going to have eight cubes. And there's going to be four rounds. Every round you're going to lose a cube. So each round... One of your cubes is going to be left up on this board here, so you'll have less moves to do. Um, so that is kind of a little overview of how this is played. For setup, we're going to pick round bonuses, because each round you're going to get different things that you're going for um, in order to get points. So on this side, Whoever has the most of whatever this is, is going to get four. And then each round, it goes up higher. So these are the cubes where you're going to put four of them here randomly. You just kind of, however you want to do it randomly, just pick one. We're going to get sets of eggs, three eggs in those three. So we're going to do that, and we'll figure that out later, what all this means. So this one is going to be our round two bonus. Round three bonus will be this one. And then our round four bonus is going to be this one. And then to start the game, we're going to want to go ahead and shuffle our to see what food we have to start with. Okay, so playing against the Automa on his turn, you're going to pick one of these cards, and then depending on what round you're in, you're going to do what that card says. Um, so we'll get those a shuffle, and then there are reference cards for the Automa to know what the different action symbols mean. So whenever we get to a symbol that we don't want to, don't know what it means, we'll just pull these out and do that. And then the round bonuses. Um, since the Automa doesn't get cards the same way that we do, these cards are going to help us score those rounds. This is the first round, second round, third round, and fourth round. So we'll pull those out at the end of each round. To do this end of round scoring for the Automa. And that about does it. Um, so to start the game, you need to get uh, bonus cards. So we can do a one to the Automa first. So we got Pristine Specialist. OK. 
Okay, so that's going to be the bonus card that the auto mode is going to have at the end of the game. We'll use that to figure out some more points. Um, and then for R2, we pick two for us, and we're going to choose one of the two. Food web expert or forester. And we're going to get to look at our birds as well. So we're going to get five bird cards. And one, two, three, four, five. And then there's also three face up bird cards that are going to be here all game long. <clears throat> so we got the golden eagle, grasshopper sparrow, gray catbird, and great blue heron, and great crested flycatcher. So you'll always start the game with one of each different food type. So there's five different food types, and then you draw five bird cards. So for every bird card you want to keep in your hand, you're going to have to discard one of the food types that you drew, that you started the game with. So we're going to look at our cards. Um, I think I'll keep these two will be easy to get out. So the other three I won't keep. I'll discard those three cards. So I only have to get rid of two food. So I'm going to be using these three. Um, so these are the two I will get rid of. So you can kind of figure out what you're going to do from there. And then I think I'm going to go with the Forester. It's just birds that can only live in forests. So I already have one bird that can only live in the forest. So that's already one towards my end goal. So we'll keep that. Keep those three foods. Um, this one will just get discarded. So didn't choose that. When going up against the Automa, you're always going to go first. So for my first action, I will play, place a cube there to play a bird. And I think I'm going to play my Great Crested Flycatcher. So it's going to be one of these worm looking foods and a berry. So we'll pay those two and then we get to play him there. And that ends my first turn. The Automa goes, you draw this card, and in round one, the Automa is going to get an egg. So for eggs for the Automa, I'm just going to put them all in here, and that's going to be worth points at the end of the game. And then you would remove a blue cube from this, um, but right now the Automa doesn't have any blue cubes, so that doesn't apply this turn. Alright, so I think I'm going to... To play another bird, I'll go ahead and play my Grasshopper Sparrow. Um, so it's going to go here. And I have to pay either a grain or a worm. So this one has a slash, so you can do either or when paying for that one. This one had a plus, which is why I had to do the berries and the worm. So then you move the cube over to the left, and that's the end of my second turn. The Automa goes, so that's going to be that symbol, which means um, discard all three bird cards from the bird tray. So these three birds are going to get discarded. Then Automa draws one and keeps it face down. Okay, so it's going to draw a card. We'll put those there. So these are just going to be worth points at the end of the game. Okay, so that is that turn for the Automa. Our turn. Oh, and then these three birds get replenished at the end of any turn. So I think I'm going to draw bird cards. I only get to draw one card, but I will take the Spotted Sandpiper. And we go ahead and put the bird back there. And the autumn is going to go. And we're in round one. It is 
the same thing we had last time, except instead of removing a blue cube, it's going to add one. So we'll go ahead and add that now, and then we're going to do the same thing we did last time. Oh. So we're going to get rid of these three bird cards. We're going to draw a bird card. And then he's going to replenish these three again. So this turn we're going to go ahead and get food. So this is, um, we get one food. So out of these icons here, we get to pick one. So I think we're going to go with, we'll go with a berry. Only because what we really need is a worm, but the, and there's only one there. But what this ability does is you gain a worm from the bird feeder if available. So we're going to gain the worm from the bird feeder. Now it is the autumn's turn. Round one. All right, so it's going to get another egg, and it's going to get another cube towards its round one bonus. I'll just put them off to the side. It's going to be our turn. And we're going to play a bird. Spending our worm to place this bird here. Okay, so we played a bird and then we moved the cube over. And now it will be the Automa's turn. So this round, let's see what that one does. It's on this card. If all dice shown the same face, reroll all. And then follow key. Left to right, match first face type and bird feeder and move all of those dice. So the first one on the left there, it's kind of hard to see, but it's a rat. So it's going to remove all the rats from the bird feeder. So that's that. And then activate all pink powers. We don't have any pink powers right now, so that doesn't happen. Now it's our turn. We're going to... Go ahead and lay eggs. So we'll get two eggs. We could trade a food for a third egg. And I don't think I want to do that. I think I'm going to keep my food. So two eggs. Put one there. I'll put one here. And then when activated, we'll lay one egg on any bird. So he's going to get an egg. And then it goes there. So all three of my birds have an egg, which is going to be one towards the end of round goal. So what I'm hoping to get more of. Now the Automus turn, and it's going to be the food one again. And activate pink powers, which we won't do. So it's going to be, this is the first one. So it removes that from the bird feeder. So I think I'm going to go ahead and draw cards. So I get one card, I'll pick this bird, the common yellow throat. And then I could trade an egg for a card, but I don't want to do that. And then when activate all players draw one card from the deck, I'll go ahead and draw one. It's gonna be the great horned owl. Move that over, and then it's the autumn's turn. And it's gonna be the dice one again, and he's gonna get another. Cube. Let me make sure I got this right. Yeah. yeah so it's going to have three cubes on there. Alright, so since all these are the same face, we're going to reroll them all before removing. Okay, and then the rat is first. There are no rats. Then it's the fish. There are no fish. Then it's the berries. The berries are going to be removed. This is actually supposed to be replenished. It's our turn. We're going to... I think we'll just get food on this last turn. Yeah. So we get to get one food. From here, we'll go ahead. We'll grab a wheat. Or grain. Whatever it's called. And then... Could trade a card for another one. 
we don't trade this card. And we will... I'll get a worm this time. And then go to here, gain one worm from the bird feeder if available. Get another one of those. And then go there. So that's my last turn of this round. The Alvamo's last turn. It's just going to get an egg. Okay, so the end of round points. So for this is the symbol on this card. So for this round, it's going to get minus one. Um, so it starts with minus one and it had three cubes. So it's going to be at two. So what this means is an egg in each how many sets of eggs you have in each area. So I only have one and he gets two. So he's going to beat me in this first round. So we, I put one of my cubes here in second place. I get one point for being in second place. He's going to get four points at the end of the game for being in first place that round. <laughs> we go ahead and shuffle all these back in. There is one that you remove every round. So this is the one for removing in the first round. And then we shuffle these back in with the other ones that were left. And then we're going to move all our cues back. So now we're down to seven turns, because we only have seven cubes, because one of ours was left up there. So for our first move, we're going to play a bird. I'll just use this egg. Let me take a look at these bonuses. Um, I'll use these ones. This one. So we're going to get our common yellow throat out. We're going to place it there. And we have to pay one of these for it. And then we go ahead and go to the Ottoman's turn. We're in round two now. So that symbol is going to be take all bird cards that match bonus card. Automa keeps highest point value card face up and discards any others. If none match, Automa draws one and keeps it face down. So his the bonus card for the Automa. And it's going to get a blue cube. I'll make sure I do that now. It is birds with wingspans 30 centimeters or less. So, 30 centimeters or less. This is the only one. So, highest point value card face up and discards any others. Okay, so we're going to put the face up ones on top. Well, we'll just make two different piles. So the point value on this card is going to be 2. So if there was more than 1, you would compare that number there on all the ones that you picked, and you would get the highest one. So we need to draw some cards. This is supposed to be replenished. So we get 2 cards. And we're going to go ahead and get the Sandhill Crane. As our first card and then we'll get a random card our second one and it is a savannah sparrow we move over the ability on this card draw two cards if you do discard one from your hand at the end of your turn so we're going to draw two cards drawing western meadow lark and ruby Throated Hummingbird. I think I'm going to get rid of the Sandhill Crane. And then when activated, all players draw one card and draw Violet Green Swallow. And then it goes there. Autumn's turn. We are in round two, so it's going to be this card one that we've seen before. Oh, there was supposed to be. Another bird here up here, but anyways, they're all going to be discarded. And then, draw oh, a card, face down. And then we're going to replenish these birds. So we're going to go ahead and go here and use, I'll use my berry to pay for the 
red ruby throated hummingbird. And I'm going to play it up here. It can go in any territory or any environment. Oh, I need to pay an egg for that as well. Autumn's turn. In round two, it's two eggs. It's going to lose one of its blue cubes. So two more eggs. We're going to get food. So I'll use this one first. Just to get... We'll go ahead and get the wheat from that. And then the second food, I'm going to have to roll the dice first. And... I'll actually just grab the rat. Each player gains one food from the bird feeder, starting with the player of your choice. So I'll choose myself, I'll get the fish, and then gain one worm from the bird feeder if available, but there's not one available. The Automa goes. In round two, it's going to get two eggs, but remove the blue cube. There isn't one though. So I'll just get two eggs. Our turn. We're going to use our last egg to play this bird, Savannah Sparrow. I'll pay for it with this wheat. And then it says when played an additional bird, play an additional bird in your um, that area, that yellow area. Pay its normal cost. So I play that there and then I get to play an additional bird. And this one costs the worm and the wheat. So I get to play a second bird there. And then we'll go to the Autumn's turn. In round two, it's going to re-roll all the dice because they're all the same. Perfect. And then it's going to go for, it's going to take one of the, all the worms out actually. It takes all of that type out. And we could activate the pink powers, but we don't have any. We're going to draw cards. So we're going to two bird, two cards first. So I'll take these two, because these two can only live in the forest, is what I need for my end of game goal. And then draw two and discard one. So we'll go ahead and draw two from here. Red-tailed hawk and red-shouldered hawk. We'll discard the red-tailed hawk. And all players draw one card from the deck. So, red-headed woodpecker. And that goes there and goes to the Autumn's turn. And in round two, it's going to get... So we never replace the birds, but they're going to get discarded now. And then it's going to... Get a face down card and then we'll go ahead and replace all the birds. So, for our last move, we're gonna have to get eggs first because we don't have any eggs. We don't have eggs. So, we get three eggs and then we can trade a food for another egg. Um, three eggs. We don't have any of the nests for this second round bonus, but they're the next round we do. So we'll start putting some on this guy. So start going towards that. And then we will trade our fish for a fourth egg. And it's this nest. So we have some there. Okay. And then all players lay one egg on any one bird with this type of nest and then you may lay one egg on one additional that type of nest bird so I get to do it an additional time and then that doesn't have one and then lay an egg on any bird so we'll go ahead and put one here 
can go there. So for Autumn's last turn, for round two, it's going to do the food. So it's going to take all of the fish out. end of round two it is that with egg so it's gonna get one which is enough to put it in first place unfortunately could have been an easy one to win I just didn't have any birds with that type of nest so I don't have any so I'll be at second place for that round Reshuffle these. This, this is the card that gets removed after round two. Get all our action cues back. All these birds get replaced. Shuffle that. Some new birds. There's a lot of bird cards in this game. You go through them pretty quickly. So we're going to do this and use one of these eggs to play a bird here. We'll use the Eastern Screech Owl and we're going to pay the rat for that. And then it will be the Autumn's turn. And round three is going to do the food which we will re-roll the dice first. Roll one type there. And it goes fish, then rat, then berries. So berries is the first one that's in there. That's going to get removed. And we still don't have any pink powers. So we're going to need some food. We'll take the worm first. And then we're going to re-roll all the dice. Our second food, we're going to get another worm. No, I'll keep that for the end. We'll use this one, I think. Yeah, we'll use that one to get another worm. We need lots of worms. And then we're going to discard a card to get a third food, and we'll get the rat. And then go here. Roll all dice not in the bird feeder. If any are rats, cash a one rat from the supply on this bird. No. So we would put a rat on here and it would be worth a point at the end of the game if we did. Game one from the bird feeder. So we'll just choose to get the berries. And then game one from the bird feeder if it's a worm. We'll use a worm to get that. The third one. That ends our turn going to the Automa. We are in round three, so that's going to happen again. So we got to find the ones that match the bonus that we have. We'll go ahead and put the blue cube next to round three to remember that. But um, so 30 centimeters or less in the wingspan. That one is, they're all 30 or less. So, take all the cards that match the bonus. And it's going to pick the one that's the highest point value. So the 4.1 is going to keep and discard the rest. And then we're going to place the birds and it'll be our turn. Okay. So I'm going to play a bird. Cost me an egg. And I'm going to play the violet green swallow there. And we cost two of these worms to play. And now it's the Autumn's turn. So in round three, it's going to lose our cube because of that. And then it's going to do that action, which is the one. That discards all three birds. It's going to get a face down card. And then we're going to replace all the birds. So we 
we're going to use our action to get food. I don't want to fish, so I will go ahead and re-roll these. I will take... I get three, so I'll get two wheats and a rat, and we're just going to be discarding the card to get the third. So that's two wheats and a rat. Move here, roll the dice. If I get a rat, I did not get any rats to cache. Then I'll go here and I get to get one from here. I'll do the wheat. And then go here, gain one worm from the bird feeder. So that's going to be a worm. And then that ends that round, that turn there autumn's turn and this is gonna do the food so I'll have to roll the dice first stop okay so first the berries is the first one up so it's gonna get those out of there for our turn we're gonna play a bird I use these two eggs and this bird's going to go here, cost two worms plus one of any kind, so we'll just use one of these weeds that we have a bunch of. So that's that. So we finally have a pink power that we can maybe activate. So we're going to go round three, so it's going to get three eggs for that card. All right. Our turn, we want to do eggs, I think. So we get three, and then we can discard a food for another one, which I think I'll discard a rat. So we get four eggs. We'll do one here, one here, one here, and one here. Then all players lay one egg on this type of nest, and then I get to do two, so I'll put one here and one here. Then nothing happens there, lay an egg on any bird, and we'll just go over here. Autumn goes, for round three it's going to get a cube and two eggs. Alright, so for the round three bonus, it's going to get start with two for the whole egg with the whole nest and with an egg. So it gets two plus a cube, so that's going to be three. And then I have one, two, three. So we're going to be tied for first this time. Which is better than it was before because I've been losing out on those points. So now we have five turns left for the final round. So we're going to go ahead and draw cards for our first move. Oh, actually, we got to get rid of the birds first between rounds. Get new birds. And we got to shuffle the autumnus cards between rounds as well and take out the one. It gets removed. There it is. So then we're going to draw cards. I'll take these two. And I'm going to discard an egg. Just take out this one. For a third card. And I'll just get a random one. Pygmy nut hatch. And tuck one. From your hand behind this bird. So I'll tuck this card behind it. And if you do, draw a card. So I'll draw one. And then draw two cards. If you do, discard one from your hand at the end of your turn. So I'm drawing two. 
and let's fill up there. A Brant and a Common Verganser. Okay. And then you draw one from the deck. So I'll draw another one and I have to discard one at the end of my turn. I'll discard this one. So these are going to get replaced. And then Autumn's turn. Round four is going to get three eggs. So for my turn, I need to get some food. So I'm going to use this to get a worm. Then I'm going to re-roll it because they all have the same symbol. I don't need any rats. And so after the re-roll, I get two more. So I'm going to use this to get another worm. Use this to get a wheat. And then I'll use this to get a berry. Goes to here, roll the dice not in there. If I get any rats, nope. Gain one from the bird feeder. I'm going to go ahead and get a fish. And then go there. There's no worms available. The Autumn's turn. Round four is going to get three eggs in a blue cube. Our turn. We're gonna play a bird. I use these two. Two eggs. We're gonna play it here. It costs two wheat and a worm. Okay. The autumn will go. Round four is gonna get three eggs. So it's getting lots of eggs now at the end of the game in a blue cube. We will play a bird, play it here, I'll use this and this egg, and we'll pay this one, costs a worm, Autumn's turn, and it's going to go for the food. It's all one type, so it's going to re-roll it first. And it's going for rats first. Take out both of those. And then pink powers are going to get activated, finally. So I get to lay one egg on a bird with a cup nest. I'll put it here. My last turn, I'm going to do eggs. So four, and I can trade a food for a fifth egg. So it's one, two, three, four, five eggs. And then go here, tuck a card from your hand behind this bird. It doesn't matter which one, because I'm not going to be able to play them anyway. Lay an egg on this bird. This one's going to get me uh, two eggs, so I'll just put them both on him, there, and then on any bird, I'll put it on him. So for Autumn's last turn, round four, it's going to look for less than 30 centimeters, all three of them are. So it's going to get the one with the most points. That's a six point bird. It's a pretty big one. And then these would get replaced. Um, I don't think it matters though because the game's over. But I'll just replace them anyway. So I still had two cards in my hand. I'm not going to be able to do anything with them. But we'll do the round four end of round bonus. So, for round four, 
for that type. It starts with 3 plus 2 cubes, so it's going to be a 5. And that's cut birds with egg in it. So I only have 2. So he's going to beat me on that as well. Did not do good at the end of round bonuses, but we'll see how the scoring goes here at the end of the game. Okay, so end of round scoring. Um, so we have this scorecard when you're going up against the Automa. Um, and this is the scorecard for multiplayer. So it's two different, you just flip it over depending on how you're playing. So for me, I'm going to put um, R there. So that's my column, and then that's the Automa's cards. So birds. So birds, you look at the number next to this little feather symbol on each of your bird cards. You're going to add all those, those numbers up and score according to that. So for the Automa, you, um, you're going to be doing its scoring. Um, and then each of these cards is going to be worth three, four, or five points. You do three for easy, four for medium, five for hard. So we'll just do the medium one. So there's five cards here worth four points each. So that's going to be 20. Circle of four so we know what we did. And then the bird cards. Um, so got that big point one at the end. So these, you add all theirs up. It's a six, four, two. So that's going to be 12 there doesn't score from the bonus card but we do so our bonus card um, birds that can only live in the forest so we have three of them so three to four boards we get birds we get four points for that <laughs> the end of round goals is where I'm going to lose out on so Ottawa got Four plus five plus six is fifteen twenty-two. So we've got first place every time. We got one plus two, it's three, nine, thirteen. Eggs. One, two, three, four, five. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 eggs for the Automa. And I had 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 eggs. Food on cards. I didn't have any cachet because I could never roll any rats. So 0 for me. The Automa doesn't score in these last two rounds. Tough cards. I had two, I believe. There's one under there. And there was one under there. So that's two points. So we'll do the math and add these up. So the final score is 72 to 75. So I lost on normal difficulty. Um, if it would have been on the easy difficulty... It would have been five less points, yeah, because there's five cards, and one less each. It would have been at 70. So I would have won on easy, lost on normal, and lost big time on hard. So 72 to 75, final score. Um, so that is Wingspan. You can play it against Automa. You can play it against friends. It's a fun game to play. So if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and have a great day.